Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today we are going to talk about these two functions, analog read and analog write. Basically, with analog read function, we are going to read the voltage between two pins uh, in between 0 and 3.3 .3 volts, uh, represented as integer in values between 0 and 1024. And in order to set that value, we are going to use this potentiometer. This is 10K potentiometer. So uh, first pin, uh, meaning first from the right uh, is going to be connected to the ground. Third pin is going to be uh, connected to uh, plus 3.3 uh, volts and middle pin is going to connect to analog uh, read uh, pin on my ESP8266 microcontroller. And then when we read value from our potentiometer, we are going to use uh, analog write uh, function in order to uh, regulate uh, light of this LED diode. This LED diode is going to be connected through this uh, 330 ohms resistor. And as you can see, for this project, we are going to need one potentiometer, one uh, ESP8266, uh, or you can use uh, ESP32 microcontroller, uh, one uh, resistor, one LED diode, and some wires. And before we continue, where actually you are going to see this uh, function in real life? Well, for analog read, you can see this kind of example uh, where uh, you are going to use potentiometer to set uh, value to your microcontroller. But you could also uh, see this function uh, with sensors. And from my experience in real life, you are going to see analog write functions with electromotors in order to regulate speed. Or you could actually uh, use it to control strength of light or strength of heaters or uh, speed of your fan or something like that. So now first thing that we are going to do, we are going to set up uh, this circuit, then we are going to deal with the code and at the end we are going to uh, test this project. So let's go. First I am going to connect my potentiometer, so first pin to the ground, third pin to plus 3.3 volts, then middle pin to analog zero. Now I'm going to connect voltage from my microcontroller 3.3 volts to plus on my breadboard and ground from my microcontroller to the ground. So on the side I'm going to put this LED diode, so minus, ok, and I'm going to use pin D2 in order to control this LED diode, but we need 330 ohms resistor. All right, now we are going to deal with the code. So code is actually more than simple. We are using uh, analog pin uh, A0, then we are uh, using uh, pin uh, D2 for output and uh, we are setting pin modes in here. So analog input, uh, test uh, output and we are initializing uh, serial monitor with baud rate of 9600. Uh, first thing that we are doing, we are uh, reading analog uh, value into our uh, value variable and we are subtracting 50 from that value. Why is that? Because if you turn your potentiometer uh, to the left completely, still you are going to get some readings like 20, 25. That is quite usual. But I want my LED diode to be turned off completely when I turn uh, my potentiometer to the left. Then we are printing value to our serial monitor and uh, we are using analog uh, write uh, function to test pin of uh, one quarter of the value. Because with analog read we are uh, getting result in between 0 and 1 2024, but with analog write we are setting values in between 0 and 255 and at the end we are going to make delay of half a second. I have already uploaded uh, this uh, piece of code so now we are going to proceed to the testing. All right, guys, for the testing, we are going to use my Android uh, USB serial monitor and plotter app. And if you are interested in this app, you are going to find it uh, on uh, GitHub on my page. So I'm going to 
open this app and we are using baud rate of 9600 uh, interval reading uh, it's uh, half of second and i'm going to connect my esp microcontroller to it i'm going to connect all right i'm going to set it to plotter all right and we are getting some readings so now our diode is uh, turned off we are going to move this potentiometer to the right we are getting some readings small intensity of light light it's stronger now even more stronger we are getting uh, readings uh, on plot even stronger light Okay, now it's on the maximum. We are getting maximum reading. And now I'm going to turn it left around the middle. Everything works perfectly. Uh, so guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you like this content. So please like, subscribe and see ya.